So, about two years ago, I did this really cool thing, and I started getting on this, like, retro thing. It was around 2021-ish, and I, I bought this uh, in 2022, I think, or something before, like, Christmas. Um, no, no, before Christmas in, like, 2021. And it's really cool. It's this, like, old LCD liquid crystal display game. Uh, it was it was remade by Tiger Electronics, so it, uh, you can see their name, like, right there, the logo... Dude, I, I am sorry. I am, you know, I used to want to film movies when I was a kid, but I, I don't think you'd want me making movies. I'd be terrible at them. Okay, uh, so I got on this vintage kick, right? And I was like, hey, look, I'm gonna buy some stuff. It's like vintage. So I got this. You know how much this thing cost me? This cost me 40 bucks at some game store, game exchange, I think. I was like, okay, I'll buy it, $40, you know, what the heck, um, bought this online, it was like, I, I don't remember, I think it was like 20 bucks, I have this, Simon's Quest, now, you want to see something pretty cool, to go with Simon's Quest, because I got it for a strategy guide, but, <laughs> unfortunately, I do not use it, <laughs> because the game is extremely difficult. And as you notice, I don't have my um I, I don't have my retro system hooked up. So well that's me. Hey. Um so check this out. This is the Simon Quest Simon's Quest Worlds of Power book, a novel based on the best selling Nintendo game by Konami. And um Dracula's back. Uh yeah, so that's what I got this for. Uh, I bought this from Thrift Books. Right there, you can see the. Excuse me. Okay, so. And one more thing to show Robocop. That was really cool. I suck at that game. And uh, I suck at all of them, really, because those old retro games are really, really tough. But yeah, I do have it still. And, uh. Yeah, that's basically what I have on uh, retro games.